Hey, Ron's Bass Lessons with uh, Rock or Bust by ACDC. This is a very cool song and uh, just an amazing example of how it doesn't have to be complicated to be really cool. Um, so you're doing, you're spending a lot of time pedaling on B. Now that I think the album is tuned down to uh, E flat. So um, when I say B, that's assuming you're tuned down to B. Otherwise, you'll have to play and play B flat. But there's open strings in this bass that make it easier. So I, I'd recommend you to tune down. But of course, that's up to you. So, so, um, so the guitar starts, you know, starts out doing the main riff. Did it, did it. Did it it did it it did it it did did it did it and then you come in with the drums on the beat and you pedal through a lot of stuff um, and then during the singing when you're not pedaling now you do pedal a lot even when the guitars are changing but there are times when you do the riff with them which is um, which is E which is I'm uh, sorry. D triplets D, A, and E. And there's a, there's a variation to that that they do. You have to listen for it. Um, they do it like once during each of the verses where they, where they, where they go D, C sharp, E. I mean, it's a very subtle difference. And... Um, the C sharp is it's the major third of the A anyway, so I don't think you're not going to be ruining the song by not doing the C sharp. But if you can hear the difference and feel the difference, then that's when that's when it means you should do it. You know, if it make, if, if it actually makes a difference to you when you hear the music. So it, so it's either D A E or D C sharp E. That's your D A E and then D C sharp. E. Sorry. Okay. Um, just a very cool, s subtle thing that just makes the difference between Garage Band and, and Pro, I think. And so the verses um, are basically you pedaling and doing one of those riffs. I call those Riff 1 and Riff 2. The, you know, the D, A, E, and the D, C, Sharp, E. Um, I do have this tabbed out, by the way, so email me if you want it, because I, you know, I did notate approximately how often they do this stuff. Um, the solos are also pretty easy. Um, the solo is four times E to B and he changes the octave that he chooses for the E. So the first two times he does it on the high one. E, E, B. And then he does the low one. Okay, so you're either playing the E on the on the second fret or on the open big string. And uh, then um, and then the and then the the second half of the first solo is G G D, and you can keep pedaling on the D if it feels right to you. So that's what I do. And then it's it's A A E, and then back to the E E B, and then the first solo ends with the with the with the riff. Actually, I think it ends. I think that particular spot ends with the C sharp. But whichever way you hear, it's fine. Okay. So that's 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 your solos: E to B, E to B, E to B, E to B, um, G D, A E, and um, E to B. Okay. And so, and the second solo is almost the same. Um, I think it is pretty much the same, actually. I, I think it's the same solo, pretty much. I'm just looking at my notes because it's it's hard to do this out of real time. It's easier just to play it and then know what's coming up. Yep. And then the outro um, is also a solo s structure, very similar, with the E Bs four times, the G to D, um, the A to E, and then the song ends on. Uh, low E to B. And, then, and it just ends on, on, on the B root note. So there's not a lot of parts, but it just all comes together real cool. So that's all the parts. Um, and like I said, if you have the tabs, 
and listen to the song, I, th I think you'll be fine. I will try to slip in some snippets of me playing it in real time if I can get away with it, but it's very hard on YouTube to post ACDC stuff with the ACDC track behind it because they, they, uh, they block it. So I'll see what I can do, but if not, this is going to have to work. And email me if you want copies of the tabs, and uh, good luck and have fun. See you next time.